South Carolina routinely has one of the highest rates of domestic violence in the country, and the nonprofit Sister Care is working to raise awareness and provide support for those who have been victims of domestic violence. The group held their final Sister Care Saturday fundraiser of the year at Soda City Market today. The mayor sat in a dunk tank, dunk tank for residents to pay to see him drop into the water. This money raised will go to help Sister Care fund important services, and the group's executive director says this fundraising is making a huge impact. If you haven't experienced it, there's a great chance that your friend, your neighbor, your coworker has. And so our goal is for everyone to know about Sister Care, to know that they're not alone, that we're here to offer support and services 24-7. Uh, well, if you weren't able to attend today, but you'd still like to donate, you can do so on their website, sistercare.org. Well, also, it was the first day of the Columbia Stamp and Postcard Show. This free event was held at the Tri-City Tri-City Leisure Center and hosted by the Columbia Philatelic Society. Attendees got a chance to look at and browse stamp collections and even get their own collections evaluated. News 19 spoke with the show's director. Well, there's some high value stuff here, but for a lot of collectors, it's not about the high value. It's not about investments. It's about the interest of the, the stamp, the history, uh, the artwork of the, of the stamps. So it's a, it's a variety of things that all kinds of collectors. Uh, so the, there are some valuable things, but it's also the, the other interests. And if you're looking to check out the show, tomorrow is your last chance. Those doors are open from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Well, if you were driving through West Columbia today, chances are you noticed Meeting Street was blocked off for the second annual Meeting Street Music Festival today. Kids, adults, and families got to enjoy this get together with 15 food trucks and even three football viewing stations. There were art, jewelry, and food vendors. Also had music, shaded areas, and stands to purchase beer and wine. This year we've got three stages instead of two, and we added a Friday night down at the amphitheater. So we actually had 10 bands total. Uh, we've got a pet station this year, so you can bring your pet and a cooling station. They've got like little pools and stuff. Um, and then we did a line dancing spot too. So you can learn all kinds of line dancing up by Bill's Pick and Parlor. And the event runs until 8 tonight, so it looks like you've got about 15 minutes to check it out.